Hello. <laughs> it's good to see you. Today we are back with a brand new bag of jewelry, and this is one of the really heavy ones. This one is mostly metal. This bag weighs at least six pounds. It's not big, but it's, it's very heavy. This is probably the heaviest bag I've ever had. And it looks like there's some cool stuff in here. Look at that. That. I don't know. This is one of the more expensive bags. This one was um, $39.99 minus my 10% discount. But it's going to take a while to get through here. There's a ton of stuff in here. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut the tape. Look at that. That's cute. Here's the zipper seal. I'm going to take my scissors and remove the tape so we can open it. And then we're going to slide it over there and we're going to start looking through some of the goodies in this bag. So let me go ahead and take care of that. Okay, there was a lot of tape on here. I got most of it. I actually poked, I poked a little hole in the bag, but I think it'll be okay. Well, let's we can start with this, this thing right here. Now here we have a little wooden lock and a key. That's from Altered State. This season, we are all about giving love. A little lock and key. That's cute, and it has a little ribbon tying them together. I'm not going to take it out of the plastic. I'll leave it in there. Oh, I have a bracelet kind of like this one. I used to have a ton of these. Um, I've gotten rid of some of them. This one's pretty, though. It's mostly green with some silver and then sort of a... That's kind of a greenish-blue stripe in the middle. And see, it's stretchy. It's made out of wires that are just loosely uh, braided together, and then they are attached right here to these wires. That's really pretty though, look. Look at that, that's cute. I like it. It's pretty, but I have one that's very similar. Um, only it doesn't have the silver in it, but yeah, I don't think I'll keep that. Ooh! Oh, I thought this was a necklace. It's just a a pendant. It's made out of seashell and it's a pretty green. It's like a little green rose or a cabbage. It could be either one. And you have little matching green seed beads right here. This, I think this was a pendant for a necklace. And the rest of the necklace is missing, but we have this pretty pendant. That's actually really cool. It's kind of thick. It's very unique. I've never seen a green rose. And again, it may be a cabbage. I honestly don't know. Ooh, look at the blue. Oh, here's another one. Oh. Now, I really like this one. Gosh, look how thick that one is. See, it's also made of, like, mother of pearl or something. That's pretty. That's really pretty. I like that. That is beautiful. Little flower. And it has half of a little plastic pearl in the middle. And then we have matching blue seed beads on the little loop here. That's pretty. They're both pretty, but I think I like the blue one a little better. Um, we have a lot of, it looks like we have a lot of uh, new jewelry in here. Here from Influence, we have a lead compliant necklace. It, it looks like burnished gold, and it has a little pendant on it that has the letter N. It's the uh, letter N initial on here, and it's lead compliant, and it only has a certain amount of lead in it, so it's very wonderful. Now, I can't see it, but I imagine there's a lobster claw clasp tucked away in there. I'm not going to open it up, but you can see we have at least two inches of adjustable chain. Two and a half inches there. I 
think it's an M. It looks like an N. So yeah, a little necklace. Oh, there's another one. What is this one? It's trapped. Oh, this one's sticking out. I almost called a Christmas tree. This one's po well, this one's poking out of the plastic. This is also from Influence, and it's a it's a C. This is a C initial necklace. Here you can see the chain, and yep, I was right. Lobster claw clasp right there, and about two and a half inches of adjustable chain. Um, it, it has a staple on it, so you can't pull it all the way out of the bag, but I'll stick it back down in the bag before I give it away. I always try to mention, because I get this question all the time, what do you do with all this jewelry? I don't keep most of it. Most of it I donate to a bunch of different uh, thrift stores in the area, big and small. They all, do they all um, raise money for different charities, so I donate the used, uh, whatever I don't keep. I just bag it back up and donate it. I make my rounds and donate it to all the local thrift stores. Oh, look at this pretty watch. That, it doesn't have a name on it, but isn't that cute? Oh, look at the dial. It has a cool blue face on it. And the band is really cool as well. Um, it looks like it was worn a little bit, but not a lot. The battery and it's dead, I'm sure. It may just need another battery in it. But it's really cute, though. Uh, very unique looking little watch there. That's really pretty. I love the, the color of the face of the watch and then the accents and everything are silver. But there's no name on it, so I don't know who made it, but it's pretty though. Oh, I've been looking for a necklace this color. I, I realized the other day, I don't have a fuchsia necklace, and I really wanted one. It was for an outfit I was putting together. And I got to looking through all of my stuff, and I don't have a necklace this color. I don't know that I can get it out right now, but I'm very interested in seeing that. Look at this. Ooh, it's like something from the show Dynasty. You remember that show from the 80s? Oh, this looks like something they would have worn. Like Alexis would have worn this. Look at that. It's all plastic, though. And this one has two large gold lobster claw clasps for no apparent reason. I don't really know why. Maybe they can get into a slap fight like those two uh, ladies on Dynasty. Remember that when they were rolling around on the floor? You should look it up. The Dynasty cat fight. It was pretty... Amazing. I remember everybody talking about it back when it happened. But this is all plastic. It looks like metal, but it's it's all plastic. It's really pretty though. It's very lightweight. This is a very inexpensive necklace. Even the chain itself it feels like lightweight aluminum or something. But it's very unique. Look, I have to lay it out so you can see all the pieces. Look at that. Look at this pretty thing. Now these pieces are kind of a gold color. This one's like a platinum almost. But they're all different. It's very cool. Definitely unique. This thing is tangled up in something. What in the world? Oh, that's just a migraine headache right there. Look, ooh. Oh, it's a bracelet. Oh, it's actually kind of cute. Is that real silver? It almost looks like it, but it doesn't say it is, so maybe it's not. We have a little silver lobster claw clasp. And these little pieces are linked together. It's very, very dainty. Very pretty. <laughs> See? That's, that's really cool. And here we have a ring of some sort. It has a floppy rose on it. Look, is, is this a ring? 
and I'm sure somebody's gonna tell me it's not, but I mean, you could wear it as a ring in it, but it has just this floppy little, why would you do it like that? There's a little rose on it, but it just bibbly bobbles around on your finger. <laughs> I don't get it. But there it is. Anyway, I want to see the fuchsia necklace. Oh, it's tangled. Ooh, look at this earring. This is cool. Oh, that is cool. It's made with little seed beads, and they're kind of a cream color and beige and then we even have some little tiny wooden beads down here that's a pretty little earring oh I like that so what I do with these loose pieces like this I just take a separate bag and put them in the the separate bag just to keep them together that's pretty though I think we're gonna have to do some untangling with this bag here we have a bangle with beautiful blue beads on it. Oh my gosh, look at that. Yeah, that's beautiful. And it has little sort of bronze colored beads here and there. Those are pretty. I really, that make a pretty choker, the little blue beads right there. That'll look really nice. I have like two rows of them with these beads. That'd be really pretty. Um, wow. Oh, here's another earring. Now, this one is also made of seed beads, and it has the same kind of a teardrop shape to it. But these seed beads are kind of purple. See, like my nail polish. It doesn't look like it, but it's dark, dark purple. It's Sally Hansen Insta-Dry Plummet. And these are dark purple also. I like that earring. That's pretty. It's very lightweight, too. Oh, my lord. This thing is tangled up in everything. Okay, this is going to take some doing to get it out. I'm going to have to pull some of this other stuff out first. Here we have some pearls and a, ooh, a long chain. Look at those balls. Well, now this chain goes to something else, I think. It's gotten wrapped around this little doohickey here. Oh, I don't think it's supposed to be in there, but it sure is. Um, yeah, it's not supposed to be in there, but it is in there. Oops. What does this go to? Oh gosh, it goes to everything. Look at that snarly right there. Oh god. That's just a chunk of jewelry. What can I get out? Sometimes you just have to pull out a whole wad of it. That's what we've got here. We've got a fabulous wad of stuff. Look at, ooh. Oh, that's an earring. Somebody said that I need to quit making jokes about balls because it's inappropriate. With that being said, look at these balls. Oh my God. Big old steel swinging balls. And they're heavy balls. That's a solid ball. There's a half a ball. These balls are part of a clip-on earring. I can put these balls on my finger and whip them around like that. And I found more balls. Look, I found the matching balls. We can knock these balls together and it doesn't even hurt. Check it out. Those are cute, actually. <laughs> I found a pair that matches. If you put those two half balls together, you get a whole ball. And you roll them around in your fingers. The balls are cold. We'll put the balls over here. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh, and this cute. Look at this. This is a vintage bracelet. Whoa. Oh, these are little shoes. Look. It has little shoes. Like little slippers. 
and each one has that tiny rhinestone on the top. It's like a little charm bracelet, and then we have little rhinestones here, and a small uh, gold lobster claw clasp. That's adorable. Look at all the little shoes on this bracelet. Oh, <laughs> they're not high heels, they're just little slippers. And each one of them has a little, it's hard to see, but each one of them has a little purple rhinestone on the top. <laughs> that is adorable. That's a cute bracelet. Ooh, here's a little bangle. That's very small. It's kind of a gold color, kind of. What well, fits? I have um, I have little wrists. I, I I inherited that from my mother's mother's family. They have these little wrists. Um, I don't know why. They also live a really long time. So maybe I got that too. My grandmother had eight brothers, no, seven brothers and sisters. One of them died during the Spanish flu. But the, all the other ones lived to be at least 90. They were all in their 90s when they died. My mother said they were just too stubborn to die, which there may be some truth to that. But they were, they all had these little wrists. That has nothing to do with anything, but this fits. It does now. It's a little, it's a little worn away. Like the, the fake gold has kind of worn away on it, but it's a cute little bangle. Oh boy! Oh, this is all one thing. We're getting that fuchsia necklace out slowly but surely. I have to figure out where the rest of this necklace is. You have to look through here because a lot of times the tangles are caused by things like this stuff. We have an earring here, a little gold hoop pierced earring. It's pretty. It has a nice little twisted little texture to it. And a ring of some sort. It's, uh, is it real gold? No, it's not. But it's cute. Look, it has a little stone on it. That's probably just a piece of glass, but it's cute though. Look at that. That's a cute little ring. It, I think it's just made to look old, but I don't think it actually is. If you hear a low rumble in the background, that's the air conditioner. And I'm sorry, but it gets hotter and it hinges a hell up here. And I, you know, it's been really hot all week and I'm not turning that air down. You know, I went to this... Um, exercise class today for the first time and it was outside and it was so hot and humid I thought I was gonna die I could not wait to come home and take a shower I got so sweaty I'm gonna keep doing it though it was it was a good class and all of our gyms are still closed so I don't really have a lot of options right now look we found the other earring here those are cute. I really like these little earrings. These are adorable. Um, no, I, I don't believe I'll keep them, though. I'm still very interested in this. But what is this? <gasps> oh, look at this thing. It's on a piece of ribbon and it has these plastic multifaceted beads attached to it. Um... Oh, God. <laughs> oh, this bag's gonna be fun. You just keep picking at it. There's the... Oh, no, that's a different earring. This is a smaller, smooth earring. Are there any other loose things? Yes. Here's a little pierced earring. Oh, isn't that cute? It has this little part that comes down here and a little pearl at the bottom. That's, that's a cute little earring. Yes, I was told to grow up and stop talking about balls. 
You know what that means. Probably means I'm going to talk about them more. Oh my gosh. Oh, I thought this was going to be short. Look at all this. Oh, this is a bracelet. Oh, look at, look at the pretty little bracelet. Oh, the little petals have gotten bent, but you can bend them back out. What a pretty thing. And see, it has a hinge on it. Um, there's no name on it. I don't know who made it, but that is adorable. Oh, look at that. That is so cute. Oh, that's so pretty. And it's not heavy at all. It looks like it would be, but it's actually not. Um, this is plastic. And this is all metal, but it's very thin and lightweight. That is just too cute. <laughs> I thought it was part of a necklace or something, but look at that. That's beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. It's really big, too. It's like a metal sunflower or something. Oh, there's a... There's a bee. I think this is a... That's a charm bracelet. It's a honeybee charm bracelet. Look, there's the... The little, um... The thing you get the honey with. Or... No, maybe it's a fruit or something. Because it, it looks like it has leaves on the top. But then it kind of looks like a hornet's nest. And we have leaves on here and some honeycomb. Look at that. And here's the bee. It looks more like a wasp, but I believe it's supposed to be a bee. Oh, and look at this pretty piece right here. It's uh, plastic, but it looks like multifaceted uh, turquoise. And a four-leaf clover. What is this little thing? Just a little disc. And the clasp is weird. Okay, it opens up like this. There's a little spring or a hinge or something in there. And it's supposed to snap closed, but it doesn't seem to close very well. So you thread this through here, but it it doesn't stay closed. But that's adorable. Look at that. It's like a little honeybee charm bracelet. But the clasp is messed up. But I mean, you could just put a different kind of clasp on it. Yeah, I would probably replace that. That's not going to stay closed. Well, I mean, it kind of does. But I'd be afraid it would open up. Because it does open up very easily. That's cute, though. I've never seen a, a charm bracelet like that. That's cute. All right. Can we? Yes, we got this. Now this, wow. Okay, this is just a, a length of a ribbon, and it looks like it's been sewn together right there. And they have attached all of these pretty beads to it all over the place, and they're all plastic. I think that would look cuter, though, was just a choker without all that length, but... And it's... I don't know that you could double it over. I don't think it's long enough. But it's, it's pretty though. It makes me think of like the, the flappers from the 20s or something. And my grandmother was, uh, I have a picture of her back in the 20s uh, with her short hair and her little flapper dress. She was so cute. <laughs> okay. Here it is. Oh, it's a little long. But it is fuchsia. Now it is, okay, it's strung together. We have these multiple strands on filament. It's like fish and line. We have five strands with different size beads. And it's, I mean, it's the right color. I do like the color. I've been looking for a fuchsia necklace. But, it's, I don't like the length, and you can't really shorten it any. We have a little silver lobster claw clasp and about one inch of adjustable chain. I'm not a big fan of filament necklaces, and I don't like the length. So, as much as I like the color, 
I think I'm gonna I don't think I'm gonna keep that one I'll just keep looking I mean I have plenty of stuff to look through I'm sure a, a good one will come along look at that knot Ooh, that's a snarly a snarly is a bad knot there's a bangle wound up in it and all kinds of stuff now when you have a snarly like this I've mentioned this before I know but one thing you can do is look for any clasps that you can undo because if you undo some clasps it can make it easier to separate the pieces part of the problem is half of it's wound up in there Ooh, look at that pendant oh my goodness that's beautiful wow that is gorgeous it looks like bronze or something it has a butterfly on it and flowers oh that's beautiful look at that beautiful thing oh, oh. part of the stuff is still in the bag We have to get all the pieces out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is bad. Here's a little earring. Or no. Or a wine charm. There's no clasp. There's no way to put it through your ear. It kind of looks like a wine charm. Or, I don't know, it's just a loop of happiness or something. I don't know. There's an airplane. Look, it's a little airplane pendant. <laughs> I like this bag so far. I found so many random things in here. And we've barely gotten started. I mean, we've looked at maybe 2% of what's in this bag. <laughs> I love these bags. Oh, here's an earring. Oh, isn't that pretty? Ooh, it's so sparkly. That's kind of like, it looks like an opal, almost. And look at all the little rhinestones around it. A little teardrop shape. It's, oh, it's so sparkly. Wow. That's beautiful. It has something on the back. Oh, it's a J. Crew earring. It says J. Crew, and it even has a tiny rhinestone under the name. So you know it's good. That's a J. Crew earring. That's beautiful. So sparkly. Ooh. Well, here's a class, but it's already undone. This doesn't bode well. Oh, here's another earring with little pearls on it. Lots of random earrings in here. Here's another doodly bob. You can hang it from your purse or your wine glass or your crack pipe or whatever. I don't I don't understand all these little things. You can do whatever you want to with it. You could melt it over a fire. Ooh, this is cool. This is a neat pendant. Look at that. That's pretty. That's actually really pretty. You know what? I'm going to keep that because I think I have the perfect necklace for this pendant. And it's a necklace that needs a pendant. I think I just found the lid to the pot. <laughs> I do. I have this silver necklace that's really pretty, but by itself it just looks like it needs something. So I hope that this pendant will fit on there. There's only one way to find out. I'll give it a try. Look at that knot. Okay. I think I know why this got donated to Goodwill. Oh, there's a clasp that's clasped. Unclasp it. There's a clasp that's clasped. Unclasp it. There, I got something. Oh, look. Look at this pretty little thing. It's a knot. Is that like a Celtic thing? I honestly don't know. Some of the fake gold is rubbed off on the back, but it's very pretty. It almost looks like a face. It looks like Santa Claus's face. Like if you had a mask, a Santa Claus mask. Like, just ignore this part. 
it looks like Santa Claus. <laughs> like if he wanted to rob a bank or something, he could put on something like that. There's a tab on here. What does it say? S A Q? No, yeah, S A Q. I could take a moment and look that up, but I'm not going to. S A Q. There it is. Santa Claus mask. Alrighty. Well, we got one thing out of there. This is a noisy pendant. It's cool, but it's noisy whenever anything hits it. I don't know if there's a way I can weave it out of there. It is. It's a noisy little pendant. I like it though. It's pretty. Part of the problem is this bangle. There's a clasp. It's the pendant clasp. We're going to unclasp it. Quit making all that noise. I'm already going to have to edit out some of the clanks. Um, does this thing no, it's a solid. I was hoping this bangle had a way to open it up, but it doesn't. There's a clasp. A little gold lobster claw clasp. Unclasp it. Thank you. That didn't help <laughs> at all. When you get a tangle like this, you just have to be patient. You do. Just keep separating. Keep pulling. Not hard, but just keep keep separating. Yes, that boot camp I went to tonight is just um like an informal thing. And um there are a lot of spontaneous uh, exercise classes that have popped up all over that you can sign up and go to and it's like, you know, five dollars per class or something. And um, I realized at this class that I am out of shape. <laughs> I used to work out every week, but my gym closed down in March. And yeah, but I knew I needed to start doing something. So I don't want to keep going. Oh, there we go. I didn't break it. I just un undid it. Now here, oh, here's a pretty little silver chain. That is the tiniest lobster claw clasp I've ever seen. It's like an infant. It's not even small. It's like prenatal or something. It's like, it's a preemie. <laughs> it's tiny. That is a tiny. I don't even think I can operate it. My fingernails are in the way. I feel like I have Shrek hands all of a sudden. Who can open and close this? God, I need tweezers to do this. <laughs> That's what she said. No, it's pretty. It's a very delicate chain. Um, it may be real silver. I don't know. I'll stick it in the box to give to my sister-in-law. I save stuff like this. She makes jewelry. If it's silver, she can melt it down and do something with it. All right. How many necklaces have we got? In? Oh, there's a clasp. Unclasp it. Another little silver lobster claw clasp. Here's a little peace sign pendant. Oh, that's just unholy right there. I've never seen anything like it. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I thought I had it. No, I don't have it. Now, when I reach this point, I'm always torn as to what I should do because some people love to watch me untangle jewelry. They like to listen to it and watch, and other people don't. Some people find it boring. I never know. 
I should sit here and do this or not. See, part of the problem is these chains are very fine. They're very small chains, and I find that small chains tangle much more easily than the large chains. There's a little bitty gold lobster claw clasp. Look at that. It's not as small as the silver one, but it's very small. And here's the airplane again. Now, you know you want to come out of there. So, yeah, I never know how long I should sit here and do this. A lot of the time, I'll just pause the video and uh, keep working because sometimes these knots can take a while. There have been a few that I had to give up on because I just flat out could not undo them. This may be one of them. Because <laughs> we still have this whole snarl right here. It's gotten, that's not supposed to be in there. Oops. How in the world these things get in there like that? separates this stuff from that stuff. Okay, you know what? We're not... I really like this, though, and the airplane. We have this beautiful pendant here, and we have this chunk of stuff and an airplane. We're going to enjoy them for a moment, and then we're going to put them away. Life is too short. Okay. Now we move on to pearls and balls and a ring. Oh God, look at that ring. It's huge. It fits on my thumb. This is like an unpigmented nipple. <laughs> yeah, it must be cold in here. It's really hard. But it's just this plastic dome of soft serve plastic or something. I don't know. Um, oh, here's another little teardrop shape pierced earring. Alrighty. Ooh. Oh, it has a short chain on it and it looks like it's uh, gold with some black enamel on it. Very interesting there with the large gold lobster claw clasp and you can just basically put it wherever you want to to adjust the length of the chain but it's not very long it's kind of heavy too Ooh, I don't, I don't even know where this necklace stops it's like it just goes on forever that's a train. Look at this pretty thing. Wow. The the uh, band on this is cool. Is this a watch or what is this? This thing spins. Does it open? It's like it wants to open, but then it doesn't want to. What is this? This thing turns. Okay, I don't, I don't want to force it open. Okay, maybe it's not a watch. It has this little toggle clasp with four different adjustable points. This is actually very beautiful. Look at that. Wow. And we have these multifaceted pieces here. And it looks like there was a rhinestone or something there, but it's broken. It looks like most of it is missing. But this chain is gorgeous. Look. You have all these different pieces here. That is absolutely beautiful. I don't know who made it. There's no, well, there's no name on it, um, but there's a little tab here. Oh, wait a minute. There's something on it. Um, GS. No, wait. Yeah, GS, and then there's a little flower on the other side of it. 
that is absolutely gorgeous. Wow. I love that. That's beautiful. But this thing just seems to spin. I don't think it opens, but that's that is really pretty. I like it. Okay, uh, one more thing. Not that. That is a wine charm. Here's my one more thing. If I can get it out. Oh, I thought it was short. It's, what is this? Lord, the whole bag's coming with it. Nope, it looks like we're going to have two things because it's wrapped around something. It's wrapped around a bunch of stuff. Okay. Here's an earring that is stuck in here. Oops. No, it's two earrings that were stuck in there together. Two little rhinestone earrings. I'm putting them back, back on it. Two little earrings and a cool bracelet. Ooh, look at all the swirlies on it. And a little turtle pendant or charm or whatever. It feels like plastic. It's a little turtle. <laughs> No, this is what I wanted to be the last thing, right? No, this thing. Oh, I love this. Look at this groovy necklace. Wow. It's pretty. I love it because it's not super shiny. It's kind of a burnished gold. Look at the links. Oh, this is beautiful. Now, this necklace has a tab on it. What does it say? I bet it says New York and Company. No. It says Avon. It's Avon. Oh, this is an Avon necklace. It seems like usually if I find a necklace I like, it's from New York and Company. <laughs> they just really know what I like, apparently. But it has a medium-sized burnished gold lobster claw clasp and about three inches of adjustable chain. And I am so keeping this. This is beautiful. Oh, that's gorgeous. I love it. It's so unique. I don't have anything like this. And then we have all the little dangly pieces here. That's pretty. Yeah, I'm keeping that one. That's mine. Okay. I'm going to just shove all this back in the bag. And we will uh, see about um, untangling this big pearl avalanche right here next time. We will get to enjoy all the little bits and pieces of this right here. But thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed it and we have a long way to go. We have so many goodies in this bag that you don't want to miss. So please come back again and we will play with this bag some more. Thank you again for watching. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you again soon.